let's draw out a very basic outline for a speech. You have the introduction, the body, and the conclusion. Pretty straightforward for now. And the reason that we're keeping it so simple is because a short speech is very subjective. To you, it could mean a speech of 30 seconds up to two minutes. To somebody else, it could mean anywhere from two to five minutes. And for other people, it could mean a little longer than that. The point is that depending on the length of the speech, we'll have to take slightly different approaches. A longer speech will have a slightly more complicated structure with more layers to it. But for the sake of this video, we're going to take short speeches to be anywhere from one minute up to seven minutes long. Okay, let's get into it. First, we have the introduction. Now, ideally in the introduction, we want to hook the audience in. If they pay attention from the very beginning, it's less likely that they'll zone out in the middle or towards the end of the speech. And in speeches that are lesser than three minutes long, we don't need to have a very fancy introduction. In fact, getting more directly to the point would be the best approach. We can use a phrase like, today, I would like to speak to you about and then insert whatever it is that you want to speak about. For speeches that are over three minutes long, we can use an intriguing question, like how Simon Sinek did in his TED talk. How do you explain when things don't go as we assume? Or better, how do you explain when others are able to achieve things that seem to defy all of the assumptions? Or we can even engage the audience by getting our entire body involved. An example of this is from one of the world champions of public speaking, Ramona J. Smith. Life will sometimes feel like a fight. The punches, jabs, and hooks will come in the form of challenges, obstacles, and failures. And after we've done that, after we've hooked the audience in, that's when we transition into our main idea. But hold on, let's back up for a second. When we say we need to get to the point directly for speeches less than three minutes, before we even start writing the introduction, we need to have one thing very, very clear, especially for short speeches. And that is the takeaway. The takeaway is basically what the audience takes away after the speech is done. We need to have this clearly defined. Do we want the audience to buy something at the end of our speech? Do we want them to think in a certain way? Or do we want them to adopt a certain idea? That needs to be clearly defined even before we start writing the introduction. Because the mistake that we tend to make, especially with speeches that are short in length, is that we tend to bombard the audience with too much information. And when there's no focus takeaway, the audience might hear the speech, but not really act upon it. And then it loses its purpose. Okay, so once we've defined the takeaway, we can write our introduction, depending on how long our speech is, and then we move on to the body. The introduction should take about 15% of our speech. The body should take about 70%. Now, this is where the meat of our speech is. And the best way to communicate this would simply be to tell a story. But how do we go about communicating a story? Most stories are broken up into four very simple parts. You have the desire, the conflict, anticipation, and climax. Almost every movie or TV show will follow this particular format. And so can our speeches. For instance, let's say we're giving a personal speech on our journey with weight loss. We can start talking about our desire, about how we were overweight and we wanted to achieve a particular look. So we joined a gym, we charted out an entire nutrition plan and we went on our way. But then comes the conflict. We didn't realize how hard it would be to actually follow that particular diet. Our social lives might spring up, late nights, drinking alcohol, not being able to maintain a routine, all of it which made it extremely difficult for us to keep up with our initial plan. And then comes anticipation, which basically answers the question, what now? We had a plan, it's not working out, how do we maneuver through it? That's when we come up with different solutions. We stop hanging out with people who had bad habits. We structure our life out around the gym. We tend to carry healthy food with us so that we don't tend to eat outside. And through all of that maneuvering, we finally reach the climax, which is our desired Wait. Let's say we are a startup entrepreneur pitching to an investor. In that case, the desire might be to achieve some amount of monetary goal or to revolutionize a particular industry. The conflict could set the challenges that the market and the audience who we are targeting currently faces. The anticipation is how do we actually solve for the current challenges? How do we make our product and service easy to use? What is unique about our company? And how do we plan on scaling this particular business? And finally, we have the climax, which shows the road to achieving our desire. 
desired outcome. There are multiple ways to build strong narratives. And we made quite a few videos on these topics, which I think you'll find helpful if you want to dive deeper. It'll be linked either here or in the description. Feel free to check it out. And finally comes the conclusion. The conclusion takes the remainder of the 15%. In a short speech, the best way to end is with our main takeaway. Just like how Cameron Russell did in her speech. But I'm also happy and honored to be up here. And I think that it's great I got to come, you know, before 10 or 20 or 30 years had passed and I'd had more agency in my career. Because maybe then I wouldn't tell the story of how I got my first job. Or maybe I wouldn't tell the story of how I paid for college, which seems so important right now. Um, if there's a takeaway to this talk, I hope it's that we all feel more comfortable acknowledging the power of image in our perceived successes and our perceived failures. Okay, thank you. And that's a very basic way to deliver a short speech. We don't want to complicate it. And if you know what length of speech you're delivering, whether it's one, two, or five minutes, we have specific videos created on these topics which you can check out right here or here.